all right welcome back folks in this video we are going to learn how to use bootstrap scripts in aws cloud let's say that you are launching an ec2 instance and while launching itself you want to perform some command right so that is what i mean by bootstrap right so while booting up your ec2 instance you want to execute some commands right uh, you know that's exactly what we are going to learn how to do that there is also another term called user data as well that's the same thing while launching an ec2 instance you are passing some uh, commands so that you know it can execute while launching itself right all right so let's get started so this is my website coachdevops.com i will be posting the link right below the video as well so if you see here uh, what we are going to do is yes we are going to spin up an ec2 instance while spinning up an ec2 instance we are going to execute some scripts so what are the scripts we are going to execute so i do have already scripts created you see here so while launching an ec2 instance i want to install java maven and jenkins while launching itself right so and if you see here i have already created this as a script right so the whole thing we are going to uh, feed while launching an ec2 instance all right so let's get started so let's go to AWS cloud. I'm going to launch an EC2 instance. So I'm going to use Ubuntu. So choose Ubuntu 18.04. So click on select. And let's go with the tdo.small. Click on next. All right, so in step number three, where you know we are going to configure instance details, right? So I'm going to go with all the default settings. And if you just scroll down, this is where you know we can pass the user data, right? So you have two options or three options, right? You can go with this or you can go with this. You can also, uh, you know, store that uh, or you can also create a file and then, you know, you can pass that. But I don't want to do that. I want to use this option, right? Where I can just feed in the script, right? So let's go here. I'm going to copy the whole script and just paste that over here, right? Okay. So what would happen is, you know, while launching it, it is going to start executing everything one by one, right? So let's say next, uh, this is fine. Let's add a tag. So I want to call this as, let's say uh, Jenkins, right? Uh, I'm gonna say, I already have a Jenkins. I'm gonna say my new Jenkins, right? Say next. And yes, since we are going to install Jenkins, we need to open up port 8080. That's the default port. Let's say review and launch and launch. I'm going to use my existing key, any one of my existing key. Okay, click on launch instances. So now what this is going to do, as you can see here, it is launching, right? So while launching itself, what AWS is actually going to do, since we have already provided the user data, right, or the bootstrap script, it is going to start executing one by one, right? So by the time it completes, uh, you know, setting it up, right, you know, we should be able to see that, that EC2 instance should have Java install, Maven install, as well as Jenkins install, right? And it is actually going to take some time because, uh, you know, it needs to execute those commands one by one, right? So let's do one thing. Let's go to AWS console. So this is the EC2 instance, which we just launched. Uh, let me connect to it. Click on connect, copy, open up my item. So that's my item. So let's connect to it. So I'm connected to my EC2 instance. So let's quickly verify, right, whether it already has a Java install or anything like that. It might take few seconds, but let's see. So as we can see here, Java is not installed, right? So it might take some time, but while this is running, right? Do one thing, we should be able to see the bootstrap location, right? So there is a directory called slash where slash log. And then if you see here, do you see this file called, you know, cloud .net output? So if you try to print that, it should be able to tell you, uh, you know, what is actually going on. Wow, can you all see here? It says that, you know, Jenkins got installed. And then if you also go above, 
you would also able to see that Java got installed. You see that Java and then Maven got installed, right? So basically, you know, you can always see in that particular log file whether, you know, everything is, you know, uh, executed or not. Okay, so this is the file under this location. Okay, so looks good. So why don't we go and verify whether Java got installed? Wow, see here, Java got installed and then Maven also got installed, right? Perfect. And then we should be able to see Jenkins as well, right? So let's go to AWS console, copy the uh, public DNS name and then put colon 8080. Wow. So yeah, so that's our Jenkins, right? Awesome guys, you know, that's how, you know, you can set up a user data. That's how you can pass bootstrap script during launching an EC2 instance itself. Thank you for watching.